Hi everyone, this is David coming at you from the Black Box Stocks office with a video today of some new features that we've recently added to the system. So we've recently added some new filters, filters to the options side of the platform, as well as to the stock side of the platform, which I'm going to cover both, as well as some new functionality, which I'm going to go over as well. So some really cool stuff, let's get into it. We're gonna start with the options side first. I'm gonna click on the green filter button, which is gonna pull up the menu for the options flow filters. We're gonna look at these four down at the bottom. These are the new ones. We're gonna start with this first one. So this is going to filter the options flow, showing us the contracts, the, the flow, the contracts that are equal to 50 cents or less. So I've checked the box, I'm going to hit set filters, and it's going to adjust the flow and populate it, showing us the flow with contracts that are equal to 50 cents or less. Moving on to the next one, I'm gonna uncheck that one, Check this one. So this is going to show us the flow of contracts that are equal to $5 or less. So this is going to get rid of those more pricier contracts, those Googles, Amazons that are like $11, $14. And I'm going to hit set filters. It's going to show us the contracts that are equal to $5 or less. Moving on to the next one. So this is going to filter out the flow and show us the flow with a notional value equal to $500,000 or more. Click the box, I'm gonna hit set, set filters, and there we go. So this is gonna show us the flow with a notional value equal to $500,000 or more. So I'm gonna take this down even more. Let's just say we wanna look at um, sweeps only. So I'm gonna add sweeps only to this, hit set filters. It's gonna filter down this flow and show us the flow with uh, a notional value equal to $500,000 or more and sweeps only. And let's take it down even more. So let's get rid of the puts. So I wanna get rid of the puts and just look at the call. So I can hit that and there you go. It's gonna narrow the flow down even more. And right away, something pops out at me. I'm looking at these two, this SMH, uh, these two. So we got the same expiration, same strike price. They're both yellows, which means that they've exceeded open interest. This first one came in was a million dollars and then we've got it followed by this one about an hour later which came in at 772,000 uh, in notional value. So that's some really interesting options activity and uh, it was filtered so you can view it faster. Um, so there you go. We're going to reset these filters and check out some of this functionality on the options flow scanner. So this is going to filter it back, or I'm sorry, not filter it back, but take it back to the original flow, which is the original stream, uh, general flow. And we're going to look, let's just say you want to look at just the flow on the SPY. We've got a lot of members that like to trade the SPY. It's a real popular ticker to trade uh, for stocks and options. So there you go. It's going to filter it down and show you only the flow for the SPY for the day. And let's just say we want to look at a particular strike so i'm going to click on these 284s and there you go it's going to filter it down showing us only that strike price the the flow with that strike for the day so some great filters delivers the data a lot faster for you um, we're going to move on to the stock side of the platform i'm going to reset this and we're going to look at the alert stream so this is showing us all of the alerts on black box stocks for every ticker throughout the day and we can filter it with this new filter uh, we've got some really cool stuff that we've come out with. So these are the alert stream filters, and we just added dark pool prints and equity blocks in the alert stream. We got these uh, additional alerts um, that we can filter for. I like the stock price spike, so I'm going to click off all, click on stock price spike, hit set filters, and there we go. It's going to filter the alert stream, showing us only the price spike alerts. I was looking at this earlier. I was going to Tesla today. Um, then I saw these two come in back to back on RG and X. So I'm filtering it down by clicking on the ticker symbol. It's just showing me the ones for the, the price spike alerts for RG and X for the day. This one, this first one came in at 1140 central. This next one came in at 1141. Looking over here on the chart that happened in this area. Uh, there you go. It had some great activity um, after lunch and just you know kept trending up in the post-market trading hours. Moving on, we're going to look at, let's look at the dark pool prints and equity blocks. So I'm going to click on that and unclick the stock price spike, set the filters, and let me go back to all symbols. So 
There we go. So it's showing me all of the dark, dark pool activity and equity blocks for the day that's in the alert stream. And we're going to look at, let's look at the SPY again. So I'm going to filter it down even more, just looking at the, the dark pool activity and equity blocks for the SPY. Um, and, you know, something that we show you that nobody else does is we also show you the cancels. So those dark pool orders that were also canceled, which nobody else doing this that, that's doing dark pool activity, uh, dark pool prints shows you that. We do. We try to give you as much information. We try to give you all of the data possible. So those are our new filters and the new functionality that we have on the platform. We're going to be coming out with some new cool stuff very soon as well. And, uh, you know, check back with us very soon for a new video covering those new features also. So remember, as always, stay green and we'll see you in the chat room.